Once the dispenser has been taken out of service, remove the old nozzle from the dispenser boot and place it in the nozzle service device. Loosen the nozzle and swivel connection and allow the fuel to drain from the connection into the test bucket. Drain the nozzle body by restraining the white plastic plunger with one hand and squeezing the lever with the other. If the vapor O-rings are cracked or damaged, replace them with the O-rings supplied with the new nozzle. Lubricate the new O-rings with light motor oil prior to installing. Attach the new nozzle to the hose hand tight, then place it in the nozzle service device to final tighten. Tighten the connection securely, but do not over tighten. The fueling point can now be placed back into service according to your company procedure. Prior to reopening the fueling point, test the nozzle for proper operation. Authorize the dispenser and test the auto shutoff feature on each hold open notch. The nozzle should shut off each time the tip of the nozzle is submerged in fuel. Test the pressure activation feature by latching the lever into a hold open notch. Authorize the dispenser and select a fuel grade. No fuel should flow from the nozzle. Release the lever, lift again and latch. Fuel should flow. Cancel the transaction using the boot switch and fuel flow should stop. Authorize the dispenser again and select a fuel grade. Confirm fuel does not flow from the nozzle. This completes the test. Here is a closer look at the test. Latch the nozzle lever into one of the hold open notches. Authorize the dispenser and select a fuel grade. Fuel should not flow from the nozzle. Release the lever, lift the lever again and latch it into a hold open notch. Fuel should flow. While fuel is flowing, cancel the transaction using the boot switch. Fuel flow should stop. Authorize the dispenser again and select a fuel grade. Confirm that fuel does not flow from the nozzle. This completes the test. If the removed nozzle is still in warranty, complete the warranty tag information on front and back and attach to the nozzle prior to returning to your distributor.